Good morning, Chattanooga. Here's a quick look at the top five local news stories you need to know today. First of all, should the City Council approve the Chattanooga Village development? The City Council may bring to a close today one of the most contentious and hard-fought rezoning battles in the city in years. But most council members are reluctant to talk about how they will vote as they weigh the $100 million Chattanooga Village proposal in Hickson. The project calls for construction of up to 280 apartments, 500,000 square feet of retail space, and 250,000 square feet of offices. It would be one of the biggest mixed-use developments ever in Hamilton County. As family grieves, the search goes on at a Polk County Creek for the bodies of a man and his two children whose canoe capsized Wednesday. It's a real shock to the community, and I'm, I'm sure uh, the grief that uh, is spreading now among the Mennonite families here is, uh, is significant. And we just, we're grateful for the response that we've had in the recovery, especially now. Searchers are waiting for the water to go down and for crews to clear logs and branches from the creek. On Monday, about 50 people kneeled on the creek bank or paddled in kayaks looking for bodies. A few miles down the road, people gathered in a cabin-style church for singing and sermons in honor of the missing. Nearly 500 people attended. Next up, U.S. Senator Lamar Alexander spoke at President Obama's inauguration yesterday, but his tone failed to connect with some local Republicans. Alexander struck an apolitical tone during his two minutes on the national stage, but some conservatives here in Hamilton County largely dismissed the spectacle, defining Obama's second swearing in as a moment they can't wait to forget. You can read the responses of several local conservatives at timesfreepress.com. Butch Jones found an unusual way to make a big impression on Ridgeland High School's All-America safety Von Bell. The new Tennessee Vols football coach brought his entire defensive staff to meet with Bell and his parents at Bell's home yesterday for nearly four hours. It was the same day that Rivals.com officially elevated Bell to a five-star rating, its highest level for a prospect. Since Rivals began its five-star rating system in 2002, Bell is only the third area player to earn the top rank. He is rated 32nd overall in the nation. And finally, more than 40 groups participated in the Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial March Monday, ranging from the Urban League of Greater Chattanooga to a group of motorcyclists and student organizations. Many expressed sentiments about the diversity of the day. It means a lot to me, and I'm very proud, and I'm very thankful that I'm able to participate in it because I am 76 years old. Well, it's Martin Luther King Day. I mean, he did so much for us. Why we can't watch for him? So I was like, I'm going to march. And I was telling my little sisters, you know, we can get up and we can do the same thing. Hundreds of people were in attendance for the event. I'm Harrison Keeley. For more on these stories and updates throughout the day, follow us on Facebook and visit timesfreepress.com.